Hello. I was, I had this garden light, a rock garden light that stopped working after long, long time. And uh, I decided to rebuild this, this garden light. The circuit was very, very simple, nothing special. And this is the thing I built. Uh, there is a lot of wires inside because I I did not thought that it was going to work so good. And uh, I decided to share this circuit. Uh, these are two circuits inside. One of them is a dual teeth for charging, and the other one is a dual teeth for driving the LEDs. But the dual teeth uh, that charge the circuit is not connected uh, the battery into the collector and the base in the meter it's uh, in serial with the circuit it's like those uh, chargers I have they are from Hene I really like that type of charging uh, instead of using the collector to the meter just place the the charging battery in series with the the coil and uh, there is a a light emitting diode inside see here uh, the light turn off now turn on turn off and turn on um, Another thing that I I found is that those uh, light emitting diodes uh, they were all the circuits I found were very complicated to to use. Uh, they had uh, a lot of components and other stuff. Those are the light emitting diodes I'm using. I received them uh, after 90, 90 days waiting. And uh, the other thing I did, I placed a Zener diode to not to overcharge the battery when when I place this on the sun. This is working very very good. The charging uh, of the battery is fast. It's really fast. And the uh, LDR, the light emitting diode, the light dependent diode, it's working fine. See, uh, turn it on and then turn off it's working really fine and uh, here is the circuit if someone wants to build something like this we try to to zoom the circuit. This is the first uh, solar thing I built. I have a few more solar panels to use. I do not I don't know the the voltage of this small solar panel that is in here but I guess it's not too much. Here is the circuit. Uh, let me try to 
to zone uh, parts of it. This part of the circuit is the charging circuit, and this is the driving uh, the driving part for the the LEDs. There are four LEDs uh, in parallel. And I forgot to, to place that uh, yellow LED inside. This to indicate that the charge is going to the battery. And the green LED is the one that is connected uh, with the Zener diode to indicate that the, the battery is full charge. Not full charge, but it's charged a lot. <laughs> I, I did not found a, a lower value Zener diode, so uh, the lower I found lowest I found was 1.86 volts. So here we go. Um, this is the charging part. As I said before, uh, there is a a Schutke diode in here, this is the solar panel and a capacitor here is the Zener with the green LED so when the battery reaches uh, 1.86 volts it will be, I don't know if it will reach that because I'm charging just with uh, internal lights, just lights from the window. Uh, at 1.86, the Zener will conduct and will discharge light in this LED into the negative rail. The battery, uh, two coils, a thousand and two hundred. Micro Henry's, the tank circuit, one microfarad and 200, uh, well, 46, 460 ohms resistor, a 200 uh, inductor base, and the collector to a shoot key going back to the positive rail. This is the drive circuit, the charging one. It charges the battery really fast and with a very 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 low light. If I if I cover here the light, I can't cover, can't light this up. Uh, you can see the let me try to show this. Here you can see the the yellow. Let me see if I can. Here you can see the yellow LED glowing, or or not. I don't think this camera will show the. Oh here. Here you can see the yellow LED glowing, indicating that the charge is going to the battery. here let me try to do it again uh, wow. oh here the yellow LED is glowing so uh, discharge the battery with very very low light and this is the driving circuit it, it takes directly the, the voltage, it's connected directly into the battery in here, going to uh, another cap, and then uh, the normal, the simple dual circuit, well, the ones that I use, I'm using a 12K uh, resistor on the tank circuit, but I placed a, um, I don't know the name of this post things, two, 
two poles, posts and place the, the resistor in here. If I need to change the value of the resistor to, to have a, a lower light, I can do it. And uh, here is the light dependent resistor just connected uh, into the base and the negative rail. When there is light, it opens and there is no enough voltage for driving the, the transistor and when this opens and the transistor stops, it automatically begins to charge. So there is no need to make a switch between this and this. just have to when this turns on receive this light this stops and this begins automatically and there is a point uh, when you place like this uh, in low light conditions uh, the voltage begins to, to to decrease and the voltage that's going into the solar panel is enough to drive those LEDs not, not bright as, as this but very bright these lights are enough to read I can use this for reading maybe Sorry. Here is the first first one I tested. Uh, it's another. It's just a a, a dual teeth with a button cell battery that I'm using, and this is more sens sensible. Uh, as you can see, if I cover, it blinks. Or not it's very sensible I made it like this it's the same of this and if you decrease I mean if you increase the value of the tank circuit in here uh, so there is less voltage co coming through and the, the light dependent resistor is more sensitive, sensible, so uh, it turns off with less light and is working with that uh, button cells. Uh, this one is that LRR44. I bought. Uh, a whole pack of them maybe for I think two dollars two and a half dollars I bought two packs of these little cells and uh, the next uh, automatic lighting things like this one and this one I want to use these button cells I make the, some blinking things it's a oscillator inside with the coils there is no toroid it's just an oscillator and uh, I want to make uh, this oscillators using button cells and and with this light dependent resistors. I really like this idea that it turns off when there is light. They are very nice. So here is the circuit. 
if someone uh, wants to to have a, a light maybe for the stairs or for lighting the door this is a very good let me show the circuit again Okay, that's it for now. I'm still working on another solar panel device that I will build. And thank you for watching.